I, I do have a lot uh, of criticisms about them and about the way they work. Um, but it's important to remember sometimes the things that they do right. Um, and, you know, helping uh, their military and putting on a show and raising the money um, is something that should be congratulated and encouraged. It would be good if they did one a year, I think. I think the last one they did was... Um, I don't think they did one last year. I think they did one the year before in the fall, if I remember rightly. They really should, I think, do one a year um, <clears throat> just to sort of show they care. So getting on with the recap then, um, I can tell you uh, a few things. Firstly, I don't think I did very well with my predictions. Um, I'm going to unusually start at the uh, top of the card. I'll just excuse me whilst I scroll down. Um, this was going to be uh, a fantastic match between Melvin Gwillard and Evan Dunham. The favourite, of course, uh, was Evan Dunham, and I went with him, not because I thought Melvin Gwillard was particularly bad. Um, he's very good, but he hadn't had um, the same sort of luck um, of late, um, and he sort of relied a little bit too much, I felt, on, on the stand-up game wasn't what you would call um, reliable necessarily. And Evan Dunham, of course, being a rising star, um, who I think should have won uh, the match against Sean Shirk, which was given as a split decision last time, um, actually lost. And he lost very convincingly. Um, he was floored uh, by, um, by the striking of uh, Melvin Gwillard and... Um, I suppose it only in ground and pound. That was the end um, of that, basically. Um, so where that leaves Evan Dunham, I don't know. Um, he is now uh, two losses in a row, and he is in one of those weight classes where the UFC are trying to downsize. They won't get rid of him this time, I don't think, but his next fight is actually going to matter um, uh, I think, in terms of keeping him in the institution. He might, um, uh, with a little bit of bad luck, be a, a sort of UFC flash in the pan. I hope that doesn't happen uh, to him. Um, another one which I didn't um, think would happen, this uh, is Matt Mitrione and Tim Hay. Um, again, I thought that Tim Hay would win this one, being a big striker. But it looks rather uh, more like he was outstruck both um, with the uh, fists but also with leg kicks um, by uh, Matt Mitrione, who won. Um, these, these two uh, fights, which are at the top of the card, both ended, I might add, in the first round. Um, as did uh, the match between Mark Hominick and George Roop. And if there is any controversy on this card... It's this um, match. Did uh, the referee, um, whose name I can't remember, Don Turnage, uh, did he intervene a little bit too soon? Um, this was Mark Hominick when he beat uh, George Roop, and George Roop, who um, apparently never lost consciousness, should it have been stopped or not. Um, there you are, that's, that's what happens. Now they predict that Mark Hominick will be the uh, first to contend uh, Josie Aldo um, for the title. Uh, that again was in the first round. Um, finally, um, one I know I've got correct. This is Patrick Barry, who uh, I support. He's a sucker punch fighter. Um, he was, he's so funny. He's actually really, really funny, as well as being a fantastic fighter. Um, and although uh, he may have lost the first round, um, he came back and won certainly both of the second two rounds. Um, I think it was a unanimous decision in the end. Yes, uh, for Pat Barry against Joey Beltran. Again, I don't dislike Joey Beltran. I actually like them both. Um, he's got a fantastic nickname, the Executioner, which always makes me laugh. Um, but uh, um, I, I'm quite loyal to some of the Sucker Punch fighters, and Pat Barry is one of them. So I'm glad he won there. Um, again, another unanimous decision, this time for Matt Wimmer. I thought it would be Cole Miller. Even the compu strikes, apparently, 
um, say that uh, uh, Matt Women was out striking um, Cole Miller. Uh, Sherdog have given him all three rounds. Um, I'm not sure if I'd agree with that, but there we are. And uh, the next match is um, another bit of irony. Uh, Cody McKenzie, who didn't win um, the last season of Ultimate Fighter, but has somehow found his way back into the UFC. Um, Dane Sayers, of course, um, who should have been in the UFC. Can't see him at all, can you? Anyway, funny how those things work out. Uh, but uh, Cody McKenzie, known uh, particularly for finishing all his um, opponents via choke, um, got choked out himself. Thankfully it wasn't a guillotine, otherwise there probably would have been a few giggles, because that is Cody McKenzie's choke of choice. Try saying that quickly. Um, he, uh, I went for Eves Edwards, who was the guy with a huge record, um, has faced hundreds and hundreds of people, and really I felt Cody McKenzie a bit out of his depth. Um, uh, and he won in the second, did Eves Edwards, uh, via uh, an RNC, which I hasten to add, uh, Cody McKenzie did not tap out. He actually um, ended up going unconscious to that. Uh, Sherdog also says, and rightly so, that Eves Edwards won the first round as well. Uh, Demarcus Johnson and Michael Gummon. Uh, Demarcus won in the first um, with a body triangle. It's a bit weird because it's not usually um, associated with uh, a finisher. I hear it's quite painful, but it's mainly uh, to keep the person um, in situ in one place. Um, it was a verbal um, uh, submission, and uh, Gunman is claiming that he has uh, got a back injury uh, as a result of the fight, and that's what made him um, uh, uh, tap out. But it is a weird, it's not usually um, a submission manoeuvre. Um, Rani Yaha and Mike Thomas Brown, I said this was a hard fight to call. And no, me, I went for the wrong one. I went for uh, Mike because he's faced um, higher calibres, I feel. Um, and he's, of course, been champion. And Rani Yaha has a habit of failing only when he reaches the very top. Um, apparently not. Uh, for um, uh, facing Mike Thomas Brown. He took away uh, the decision at victory there. Um, it did look like an extremely good match. I did say it might be fight of the night. Uh, way along low, he also got um, a decision victory against Willamy, whatever his name was. Um, I said I thought way long low would win. I remember getting a, uh, a comment on my thing saying, you've not seen uh, Willamy, blah, 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 blah. Um, he's bound to win, uh, so there. Um, I think, of course, with his record in Shuto, it was a, it was a good fight, but even Sherdog has scored um, at least the first two uh, uh, rounds to Waylon. America Alves and Charlie Brenneman, uh, Brenneman were at one there by, um, by decision. The crowd was quite het up with chants during that one, apparently. And uh, Will Camposano and Chris Cariasio. I thought Will Camposano would win, um, but they gave it to Chris Cariasio.